it's not just about you know producing and designing a, a beautiful interactive form but to think about that as a as a live experiment So Ada features two surfaces, an, an inner surface that's soft, which is what you'll inhabit when you're on the inside, and then an outer surface that is semi-rigid. Connecting those two surfaces will be these knitted uh, cones, which actually, um, when they're in full tension, um, will act like springs. And then running on the outside, as I mentioned, will be hundreds of these 3D printed nodes. Um, each one having a fiberglass reinforced rod connecting to its neighbors. So we have um, individually addressable LEDs and that network of LEDs uh, will then be activated in real time uh, with uh, people's sentiment and their interaction with these cameras. Uh, so when we want to read the collective sentiment across the atriums, the whole project will, will be um, activated. So the name Ada uh, comes from the, the name of a, a famous mathematician, Ada Lovelace, uh, who in many ways was an early predictor of the computer age. And like many women from her time, was, was not given her sort of due credit. And I, the project in many ways celebrates similar themes. Early on, just going back to the topic of artificial intelligence, we were interested in how the project perhaps could smile back at you, right? That, that there could be a personal engagement with, with Ada. So I, my hope is that it, at the very least, opens up new questions, um, but that it ultimately um, presents a, a kind of positive nature to this type of research, research and um, how we as humans are, are really the ones kind of pushing it forward and, and uh, probing the possibilities of it. You know, the relationships, the materials, the systems that we've set up could easily translate into larger uh, applications. You know, Ada could be a building facade, for example. I think there will be multiple lives of, of her location.